We're now going to look at how we can use the gradient point equation of a straight line to find the straight line in each instance equation, y is equal to ax plus b. In the first instance, you're given a point and you're given the gradient of 3. So I can then substitute this in to find the equation. Transposing the negative 5 to the other side, coming up plus 5, I end up with y is equal to 3x plus 11. In the second instance, you're asked to find the gradient first. Which comes down to a is equal to Two, I then substitute that into the formula equation. I'm going to use negative one four as my point. I could have chosen four fourteen, but just looks a little easier to work with. Transposing the negative four, becoming a plus four, y is equal to two x plus 6 is the gradient of the equation. In the third instance, you're asked to find the gradient between the points negative 9, 2 and negative 3, negative 1. Now, I've gone ahead and found the gradient. Key thing here is to watch your take-takes, which, of course, become pluses. I end up with a is equal to negative 2. I then substitute it into the gradient point equation. Once again, just watch those groupings of two negatives together. Comes down to y plus 1, negative 2 lots of x plus 3. Transposing that positive 1 to the other side. Well, y is equal to negative 2x. Take 7 as the equation of the straight line. 